All right, guys, welcome back once again. This is video number two in my series of the Beachmaster Pulse Induction Metal Detector Build. Okay, today's video we're going to be looking at predominantly the power supply. So that would be plus 12 volt generator as well as our plus 5 and minus 5 regulators. So what we have on the screen right now is actually the 4106 Hex Schmidt trigger. And I have that on the screen of my microscope as you can see. But uh, let's get right, right down to brass tacks and take a look at our multimeter and those power supply elements. All right, guys, here we go. Here's the printed circuit board. You can see my probes attached right here. We are attaching to test point 5 and ground. So ground is the black lead and test point 5 is the red lead. Zoom in a little bit. and shift this over so we have test point five over here and ground right next to it I shifted my test points to the rear of the board so that uh, I'd be able to attach to them a little bit better now let's take a look over at the multimeter okay so I'm showing, as you can see, 10.9 volts. So nominal 11 volts. And uh, that's as close as we're going to get to 12, I think. And now let's take a look at the plus and minus 5 volts. Okay, guys, we are on test point 11 with our red probe, right? and that will be the positive 5 volts. Let's take a swing over to the multimeter and see what it shows us. Okay, there we are, 4.99 positive. So that's great. And let's go back and take a look at the negative 5, show you how that's hooked up. So, not really too much difference. We're just over here. There we go. Once again, red probe and our black probe, which is the ground reference, is on the back of the printed circuit board. And let's take a look at the multimeter. There we go. Negative 4.96. So those are our three power supply reference voltages. And now we will move on to the MOSFET driver. Okay, this is the uh, next part is we're looking at the MOSFET driver. So as you can see, I have my scope probes set up here. Here we have the probe on test point two. And up here is the ground reference. In this case, is test point six. And now let's take a look at the oscilloscope and the waveform. Okay, so this is the waveform for the MOSFET driver. We're looking at uh, I think twelve point six volts peak to peak. And that is all correct. So let's move on to the transmitter portion of the circuit next. All right, guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be looking at the flyback pulse on the Beachmaster pulse induction metal detector. Um, on the screen, you see I've got my probes set up. I am on 
test point six here and test point three down here and as I've done previously I've reversed those test points to the rear of the printed circuit board just a little bit easier for me to put my probes on there while I'm recording okay on the oscilloscope you see the uh, the flyback and we are just about uh, 400 and 60 464 volts peak to peak make sure obviously that you uh, when you put your probe onto your circuit board that you are at 10x on the probe don't want any magic smoke disappearing from anything so let's get on with building out the preamp and we will look at the damping resistor and jig